This demonstration will show you how to create a digital composition using Photop. First download um, Photop using Google. If you just type that into the search engine, you'll get the online platform for this. You then need to save all the images that you want to use within your composition to your camera roll. Your main image needs to be on one layer. You then need to go into layer and insert to create different layers for each of the images that you want to combine within your composition. To select your image that you want to combine as a layer, you open that up, you go to select, you can use the rectangular marquee tool to select all, and then you go to edit and copy. You then go back to your main image and onto your open layer, you would then go edit and paste. Once you are on each layer, you can work on them individually, so you can adjust the colour and the size and everything else on them individually, which makes the composition easier to work with. You need to uh, select bits and remove the background that you don't want, so you can do this using the quick selection tool and you highlight the bit that you would like to save. You then invert the selection, um, so it selects all the bits that you want to remove and then you press delete and that gets rid of all the unnecessary things within the background. You can then transform the size of the images, so you go into edit, transform and scale and you can reduce or increase the size of things to make them fit. Once you're happy with the scale and size of things, you can then flatten the image. So you go into layer, flatten image, and then that gets rid of all the layers. This enables you to work on just the one image and adjust all the things on that image at the same time. So here you can see where I'm experimenting and playing about with the posterized filter. I'm also adjusting the curves here and you can see how that impacts upon the lightness and darkness of your image. Adjusting things like photo filters or the hue and saturation. So I'm just quickly showing you here all the different things that you can do. Um, so these are all really useful tools for developing your ideas. If you do want to do any adjustments, the best thing to do is to create a layer, a duplicate layer of your background image. You can then make any adjustments on the duplicated layer so that your original layer where you're happy with the layout of the composition is still there underneath. So here I'm applying an oil paint um, adjustment layer so you play about with the sliders to get the effect that you want um, and it enables you to play with detail and things like that. Once you've got that layer you can then decide whether you want to have it as an overlay or a screen layer and you can also adjust the opacity. So again, you've got to experiment and see what looks good. On that layer, you can then adjust the hue, the saturation and various other things and the opacity. And then once you're happy with the image, you flatten the image again and you save it and that will download it onto your iPad into the downloads folder. Here you can see I'm adjusting the curves. So that has a nice impact upon changing um, the lightness and darkness. Of, of the colours but it also changes the hues as well a little bit. Um, there's different things within the filters options where you can add things so like the lens flare here for example or you can apply different filters. Um, but the, perhaps the most useful um, menu is image adjustments and then in the image and adjustments you can replace colours, you can transform colours um, you can invert colours, so you can do all kinds of things. Um, here you can see replacing colours, so you can select a colour and then you can replace that colour. So it's really quite helpful and it enables you to get lots of differentiation and changes within your design really quite quickly with quite minimal effort. So you've just to have a play about with it, work out how all the different tools work um, you can also draw into it like you can with most um, editing tools, so you can draw and paint and add things in. You can add text into it as well, um, but you've just got to experiment. So here, experimenting with colourways, then these will save to your downloads. You then take them from your downloads and save them into your camera rolls.